All right. So when I read this story and I found out, you know, what was the alleged reason why this Chili's employee was murdered? I was like, the first thing I thought of was why would this woman choose to be with a man that has a history of domestic violence? Okay. This is what I've read about, you know, the, the cause of, of why um, this this man who is, uh, I believe he was 37 years old or actually 36, 36 year old Lister Reed uh, died at the Chili's location, which is literally a couple blocks away from uh, where I live. Uh, an incident involving a female co-worker. Okay. They had some kind of disagreement, some kind of argument. And the female co-worker decided to call her violent boyfriend with the history of domestic violence and a long rap sheet of uh, crimes, etc. Call him and he decided to go ahead inside the restaurant, shoot and kill. 36 year old Lester Reed who was a line cook with eight children. All right. This happened a couple days ago on Monday and, uh, how I knew about it, uh, was, um, actually my sister-in-law told me about some kind of, um, a lot of traffic on 441 because I was on my way before I was on my way to pick up my son from daycare. And that street is where I take to go pick up, um, my son from Deca because the restaurant is off of 441 and 199. Okay. And let me just, let me just kind of like digress a little bit. I don't, I'm not a fan of chilies at all. <laughs> I, I don't like chilies and I don't like the people who work there. It's just unprofessional. Um, I never been a fan of chilies at all. And this further proves that this is why I would never go to a chilies restaurant ever in my life again. Um, but anyway, I digress. Uh, but yeah, this, I found out about this Monday when I was going to pick up my son from school and I was like, wow, that's a lot of traffic here. And, and, uh, turns to find out someone was murdered there. A lot of police there, news coverage and everything was there. And so I was like, okay, I got to find out what happened. So this is how I found out, found out about the story and turns out someone was, somebody was murdered there. But, you know, I wanted to talk about choosing, right? I wanted to also talk about choosing your mate, choosing who you're going to be with. And like I said, this woman, okay, who was dating the suspect, okay, the suspect's name is Arturo Exum, okay? And he actually turned himself into the police, which was a good thing. I'm not sure what caused him to do that. Uh, you know, obviously the girlfriend is fired. She definitely is not working there anymore. I believe the restaurant is still closed as well. Cause I passed by there. I didn't see anybody go inside the restaurant. It's still closed because of, they're still trying to get more information and everybody's under investigation, all the coworkers and, and stuff like that. So I really hope the restaurant don't open again to shut that whole restaurant down. Um, and, and start anew. Just just bring in something else, some kind of black owned business there. I really don't care about Chili's at all. Like I said, just shut the whole damn restaurant down. Um, and those guys that work there, you probably you can go ahead and work uh, at that particular business or transfer it to another Chili's. All right. But uh, like I said. You know, this this particular story about choosing, because like I said, the, the woman was the reason why that Lester Reed is dead. This is from my, this is what from what I'm reading, okay? The woman had a disagreement or an argument with her coworker who is a line cook, Lester Reed. She called her boyfriend, 31-year-old Arturo Exum. Arturo came into the restaurant, shot and killed 36-year-old Lester Reed. This was in broad daylight in front of patrons at two 30. 
All right. And it says here, shot him twice and left, said witness Alex Escaleta. She left out the front door, got into a green Mustang and took off. I saw a green Mustang take off. Okay. Uh, you know, whatever the reason, whatever the reason what they had an argument for. I don't even care if it was death threats. Um, I really don't even with death threats. Just walk away. Just walk away. Especially you dealing with coworkers. Walk away. Or call your management. Call your manager. Right? How did it even escalate to that point where they had an argument so bad? I'm pretty sure they had witnesses there. Like that's the reason why I don't like chilies. Like I'm going I keep going back to chilies. The customer service is extremely abhorrent. You know? And I'm talking about black people because black people are the main ones that I'll go there because I live in Miami Gardens. I live in a predominantly black city. So I'm dealing with black employees and they don't have any professionalism at all. I, my wife likes to, you know, get food from Chili's. And every time I go there to pick up food, I'm waiting like 15, 20 minutes. Uh, I remember one time where I had to wait there to for a pickup the food was supposedly ready i waited an extra 20 minutes because the food wasn't ready i filed a complaint into their management they sent me some kind of a email about some kind of coupon or whatever the case may be but i said this is a repetitive issue of just bad customer service all right so i convinced my wife not to ever ever eat at chili's again Chili's is just straight trash. All right. But this, like I said, this is a pretty sad story. And the fact that this woman chose to be with a guy with a history of domestic violence, you know, is something really deep rooted with that. It really is. It's really deep rooted. Okay. Um, what I mean by deep rooted is it's, it's about how you were raised, your upbringing. Right. You can the questions I have. Where was your father? Was your father in your life? Was your mother in your life? OK, how were you raised? Where were you raised? How were you treated? Were you mistreated? Were you abused? Those are the type of questions I would ask this young lady that chose to be with the man that has a history of domestic violence. I mean, they said that he has. I read somewhere um, that he has a history of domestic violence, like beating up women, um, stuff like that. He had an, a gun charge. It was a long, just a long history of, of just violent crimes, right? I mean, violent crimes. So, and this man happened to be out on bail. Okay. Or I'm sorry, not out on bail, out on promotion. Yeah, it says, was out on promotion for a violent crime, shot and killed 36-year-old Lester Reese. So he was out on probation for a violent crime. Um, this article, for some reason, doesn't indicate his uh, previous arrest records. But yeah, he had a history of, of violent crimes, domestic violence, et cetera, et cetera. And this woman, the co-worker, you know, just accepted it, right? So... You really have to be cognizant of who you choose to be with. Is my point, right? Um, and if you decide to accept somebody who is a, you know, a, a serial abuser, a serial pedophile, or you know, those kind of huge skeletons in your closet, then this is something that you have to understand as to why you're doing that to yourself. Why are you doing that to yourself? Right. That's a reflection on you. All right. But uh, yeah, family, they had a vigil. They had a, a, a they had a ceremony, I believe, a couple of days ago, out in the restaurant, um, commemorating the the memory of you know of the coworker that died there, Lester Reed. Um, and like I said, he had, he was a father of eight children, eight children, thirty six years old. Wow. Just wow. So. Yep. So those are my thoughts, family. 
on the story. Leave your comments down below if you actually heard about the story. Let me know your thoughts about it. And um, let me also know your thoughts about, you know, uh, just choosing your mate, choosing who you want to be with. Right. Understanding how you have to be cognizant of who they are as a person. Right. So leave your comments down below, family. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. All right. So next time, Chauncey, a.k.a. the Black Separatist, signing out. Peace.